I'm sure many of you guys realized that we bought a new trailer and didn't say anything. So here's a little old footage that we had from when we purchased the trailer a few months ago. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, so today I'm going to be working on this trailer a little bit. It's a brand new PJ trailer. It's a 20 foot uh, equipment hauling trailer. It's 14,000 pound capacity minus the weight of the trailer, which is a little less than 4,000 pounds. It's got the big monster ramps in the back, which are pretty nice. It's got the eight lug axles. It's got the big toolbox in front. It needs the deck stained on it, so I will be doing that today. Um, oh, there we go. And I need to tighten up the fenders because they make a little bit of noise when it hits any bumps going down the road. A couple rattles. And I think that's about it. It's had one trip so far, moving that old Oliver Klee track crawler. And uh, it towed it very well, pretty easily. So, yeah. So, let's get to work. Alright, so one of the first things I'm going to mess with here is these fenders. So, you can hear. They make noise when they hit a bump. And they've got these little clips right here that the fenders actually slide into and I'm thinking that I'm going to put a couple wooden shims maybe thicker than that in here see if we can get this to work see if I can adjust this camera better. Let me cut this in. these things on just to make them shut up huh, where the hell all that damn noise is coming from okay 
All right, so I'm gonna try something a little different here. Some of those wooden wedges. I'm gonna yank these things off. And see if I can put a piece of rubber. gap out in here where these little brackets are I don't know if you guys can see that or not kind of hard to see in there that the fenders kind of clip into so I'm going to wipe this frame rail off and put some rubber back here then put this back on. Wipe it off some good old trusty brake clean. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've been working on here. We're working on these fenders. They make noise when you drive. So check out this fender right here. Watch what happens when I hit it. That's a noise you hear when you're going down the road. Super frustrating. All right, so now let's go look at this other fender. because they're not fully welded on the back so I'm gonna show you what I did I ended up putting shims in between the fender and the frame so that the actual fender is not sitting up against the frame it never should be because it's a spot that's gonna rub and create rust in between them when they rub all the paint off so I put quarter inch shims in between it all the way down and then rebolted it back down and in between the top portion of the fender up here and this back panel they're two separate pieces and they're only spot welded about every 12 inches well that gap in between there is actually what's rattling so i use these door shims these dark plastic door shims to put in between here on the back side and so that's what i'm going to do to this other side right now so I'm going to do is start out by loosening the bolts of the fender itself. tabs on these things that are actually on the frame so that's what I'm gonna put these wedges in between the fender and the frame mounts I'm gonna cut them all in half a little bit thicker where I want them to be Now, what I'm going to do is 
chain sucked back in. I'm gonna lean in, keep it nice and tight. Tighten that. Same thing on this side. Move in. Between here and here is where the problem is. One. that gap down there or not but I can see daylight through it perfect all right so what I think I'm gonna do here is, is I'm gonna stain this this trailer but before I stain it I'm gonna try something different I think I'm gonna torch the wood to try and bring out the grain so I took a piece of 2 by 8 and I torched one side of it so just to see what it would do now this is what it looked like before just simple basic and the torching brings out the grain so I'm gonna do that before I stain it just for the effect
Man, that looks cool. All right, I'm gonna let that cool down for a while, and then I'm gonna stain it. Tune in for more. All right, so this morning I'm gonna be staining this trailer. Yesterday I torched the deck to bring out the, the grain and the wood, and it came out really good. So today I'm going to be staining. I'm gonna be using this Australian timber oil. That's mahogany flame is the color. I use this for everything. It's a little on the pricey side. It's about $50 a gallon, but it's well worth it. I use it on all my fences. It turns out like a orangish red. It's a really good looking color. It lasts a long time. I love it. So that's what I'm gonna use. All right, let's get started. Well, when I woke up, she was looking at me. She told me I've been cheating on her in her dream. Start working on the main deck. She told me to top off her cheek. The one I bought her when I sold my old GT. And I bumped in. Good friend, and he asked me where the hell had I been. So I told him what she told me. If I didn't change, she was gonna leave. So I stopped going down on Friday nights. I stopped drinking with the boys. Everything she asked, I left in the past just to try to bring her joy. See how this thing turned out. Honestly, it looks great. That grain stands out really well. And the orange color of the stain looks great on here. Badass. Perfect. All right, move on to the next project. <laughs> 